Good morning. Um, yesterday's message was pretty amazing. Yesterday all in general was. And I'm going to talk about uh, the underlying theme, which is the love of God. I'm going to tie in three things. I'm going to talk about Mother Teresa. First of all, my wife decorated this room, so I thought I'd do it in here. It looks very Christmassy the first time in, man, a long time up here <coughs> that it's looked like this. And this ties in with the first quote, which was, I'm going to, it was Mother Teresa, and it's a paraphrase. She said something like, we don't need to do great things for God. We just need to do the little things that come across our path with great, with great love. Um, and that is the truth. We don't have to. When we're trying to do big things for God, a lot of times, self is in there. You know, we're trying to get some glory for ourselves instead of just doing the little things, the everyday things that come across your path with great love. Um, Man, and then I was going to talk about Nina Kenny. Uh, we go to Encounter Road Church, which is just a loving family church, and so she's my um, Ryan Kenny's mom, one of my favorite guys. He's a pastor there, and she's a gifted musician. But the root of what she was saying uh, in between playing was talking about the love of God, and that being the the primary thing, the thing that moves us is the love of God. Um, and then in uh, children's ministry, the first service, Lisa Basil was um, our pastor's wife, and she was teaching. What she was doing was taking pl Play-Doh, and we were taking sheets of paper with like dots on them. And every time she'd read the story, and every time in the story where this these uh, two naughty elves, you know, would do stuff out of mischief. You know, we'd put um, a Play-Doh over the dot, you know, squish it down into a, into a circle. And uh, that's basically showing the sin that's in their life or in our life. And then in the end, um, you're able to, to take all the, you know, the Play-Doh off, but there's still residue on that paper. And the idea behind it was just showing, you know, that, you know, God is there to take away the sin of our past and all the brokenness that we had when we were apart from him. And then basically give us a new piece of paper. And that's our new life. And a lot of us live as Christians with still that dirty old paper. But, you know, the residue from it. And there's no doubt that we have to make amends and do those things in our life. But it comes out of the newness of life, that new creation. We are a new creation. We don't need to live in that old, old man. It's about living from this point forward in freedom. The enemy always wants us to be insecure, uh, isolated, and inward focused. Um, and that's what we do when we keep going back to our past life and feeling regret and shame and guilt. Conviction is one thing, but those other three are used by the enemy to keep us in bondage to self. And it's all about going the opposite direction of that and just living in the newness of life so that we can do uh, the little things that come across our path with great love. Mother Teresa, awesome quote. I love it. So today, do, do, do the little things that come across your path with great love. Love y'all.